Hey guys, it's Tarko Cycle and FPV, and today, cut my hand. Today we're going to do the um, we're going to do the instructional video on building the Tank 95 analog version. So yesterday we did the Tank 95 HD, it went real well, and man, we I mean, we walked into a lot of them sold today. Uh, and then we had a bunch of people ask about the analog because we had some sold already, and these guys want to now uh, build it. So we're going to do the video today, okay? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and jump in here. And let me start off by saying this. If you scroll down on the description of this video, uh, somewhere in there, um, you're going to see that area where it says, like, the things that I use for uh, my builds, right? Please look at that list, okay? Because you're going to see me using a lot of – there's nothing on my bench that I'm going to be using in this video that I do not have listed there. So if you want to get it, whether it's the – uh, flux pen or whether it's um, I don't know the tape or anything like that it's all on there okay uh, and if by chance there's something I grab and you don't think that, you don't think it's on there just let me know hit me up and we'll get it taken care of but uh, everything that I use to build is stuff that's on my site and it's not expensive stuff at all I definitely made sure not to go the expensive route on this okay all right so let's get started in your kit that you're gonna get here's your frame Obviously, this is the Take 95 frame, and the only thing that you don't see right here right now is the top plate. That's because I just cut some new ones, and they're getting cleaned. They're they're kind of taking a little bath right now before I go over there and sand them down. But uh, I will have one ready, obviously, for the final portion portion of this build. So you have the frame right here. Uh, these are 20 millimeter M2s, socket uh, socket head M2s, and each one of them has five rubber O-rings on it and a fastener at the end, just like the. Um, just like the HD version, except the HD has a 25 millimeter, a little bit longer, because of the fact that it's got a Cadex Vista in it. Uh, we're still using the M225 textured, or M2 uh, by 20 textured standoffs right here. We have the four HGLRC motors, the 8000 kV, 1103 8000 kVs right here. I'm gonna move those off the bench because we're not starting with those right now. Here's your uh, FPV uh, camera. This is the 1200 TVL camera. I'm gonna move that off the bench. Prop guards, which we'll get to later, move those off the bench, and the JHG MCU. Uh, 20 by 20, 600, milli, uh, 600 milliwatt um, of VTX. It's a multiple. So it gets one, two, one, <coughs> two, four, and six, maybe something like that. Um, 40 channel. Uh, and it does run on a two to six S right here. Okay, so we're going to move that off the bench. You will get your uh, tape, but unlike what we did in the HD, I actually measured the tape a little more accurately. I'm still giving the same amount, but this way you're going to have some left over, so it's cool if you need to use it again. And then, of course, you're going to be using your Zeus uh, HDLRC Zeus 15 amp AIO. I'm going to move that off the bench because I want to get started with the frame first. So first thing is I'm going to take the camera mounts and move them aside. I'm going to take the standoffs and move them aside. Oh, and I apologize. One thing that you will be getting, I forgot to even pull these out, is going to be the eight. Um, let's see, you've got the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You will have eight um, uh, M2 eight millimeter, uh, which go for the bottom and the top plate. So here goes. Uh, first thing we want to do is to get started is we're going to take the 20 millimeter um, uh, M2 screws here, and we're going to go ahead and start installing these. Now remember here, guys, you have these circles here. Uh, where you're going to put them through now the inside circles are 16 by 16 the outside circles are 20 by 20 we're doing a 20 by 20 build so we're going to go ahead and put those in once we put the screw in i want you to take the fastener and i want you to go ahead and just fasten that screw down all right so there's one take the next screw and put those rubber O-rings aside as well. Just makes this go a little bit faster when it gives me a little bit of pushback here. So let me just go ahead and knock this out. All right, there's two. Take the next one. I'm gonna put those rubber O-rings right here. All right, there's three. Got all this black uh, dried silicone on my hand. It's been a messy day today, so I apologize. Uh, all right, there's three. And then let's do the fourth one now. And we'll put those O-rings over here. Okay.
All right. Okay, so with that done, honestly, at this point, like we did before, you can go ahead if you'd like, and you could put in the front standoffs if you want. Now, I will tell you that, uh, I, I know we talked about this before, uh, yesterday when we did the HD build, um, take your eight millimeter, by the way, uh, it's just gonna be one and one here. We're not gonna put the back on. It is easier to finish this board without putting the back on, okay? So just for right now, we'll just put the front two spacers on, all right? and our standoffs on we've got the four screws with the fasteners down and guys that's it for step one let's let's make these as quick as we can so that you guys can get to building them quicker and easier so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to stop uh, and we're going to come back and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get ready to put the hglrc flight controller on so pay close attention to that one i'll see you in just a minute <laughs> 